Uh, Coach Claire, how just um, you know, last Saturday post match, you said this might have been the team's worst performance of the season so far, but you guys still managed to pull out a point. Heading into this week, just how do you get the squad to get back on track, knowing there's another opportunity for three points on Saturday at home? Well, I think scoring a 88th minute to, to tie uh, brings a sense of confidence, right? It was a good goal, a good fighting spirit to, to get a point out of that game. Like I said, you know, I, I, I thought it was an okay performance. I watched the video. Uh, just, just having the confidence to go in. New opportunity, right? This new opportunity to, to get three points. That's what we look at going in the next game. Uh, you know, hearing from Eric and um, Petar, just they feel like they're in this time of the season where the luck's really not swinging your guys' way. Just what can you do to, I guess, get things turned around and get back on the uh, winning tracks? Yeah, you know, we've had some, we've played some tough teams in this stretch as well, right? You know, there's no easy games in this league, right? We're not, they've removed the MLS Academy, or I don't even know if it's, it was Academy, I wasn't here, but the MLS 2 teams that were previously big, big score line differences. So there's a lot of wear and tear on the bodies. Uh, I, like I said in the post-game press, I look at fact, I look at data of, okay, Monterey and San Antonio, I look at the data there. Our XGs, our numbers that we're putting in, in those, our, our shots are at the same level as where they were when we were getting three-pointers. So this is a natural thing. We're not the only team in this league that is going through uh, maybe uh, the best form right now. Um, and it's just kind of continuing what we're doing. We will review the three games like I did in the beginning of the season, seeing if there's any trends that, that we notice that we need to, that we need to improve, uh, and we just keep getting better. But there's no cause the panic. Uh, we're still getting points here. Uh, doing something on Patar, I guess just uh, was he one of the first guys that you kind of kind of targeted when you came here? Yeah, he was a player I knew. Played against the last few years. So he's a, he was a guy when he expressed some interest that we thought it could be a, could be an opportunity to come here. We, we, uh, we, he was one of the first guys I went for. Describe uh, his game. What, what does he bring? Yeah, he's an unlocker, right? He's uh, we call him a point player. That's what they would describe him in Sweden. Uh, explosive, quick, good in isolation on the wing. Um, and I think we've seen it at times when he's been healthy, what he can contribute. Uh, it's a guy that can, especially now that teams are starting to sit a bit lower on us, can unlock uh, can unlock de defenses and uh, strike moments of brilliance. Was he somebody, I mean, how long you had kind of had your eye on him? Um, whew, 2020, I, he, had a, he had a good year when he was at Oster. Uh, 2021, he had a, an excellent year when he was at Trelleborg. Uh, so I've known, it's a small country, you kind of know the elite footballers, so I've, I've known about Petr Petrovic for, for quite some time. Brian, the only one for me this morning, um, we're starting the second half of the season. Um, just, I guess, your your synopsis, your overall thoughts on just the USL Championship. Results aside, position on the table aside, current form aside, are you ahead of the learning curve? Is it, what, what just, what are your thoughts on the USL, this experience for you thus far? Yeah, it's been, it's, it's a different league. It's, uh, it's a, there's challenges in it with the, with how big the country is and, and, and the travel, the time difference, the, the different climates. I'm sure people say that when they come play us. But also for us, when we play at home uh, three games a week in this type of heat, is that an advantage as well? The people can say we have three home games, but people don't know that we're playing in, in triple-digit weather as well. Um, the three-game week for me has been a, a big learning curve. I've had three games weeks with cups, but they would be maybe Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, that extra day. So um, there's some challenges uh, away from the football side that I think uh, maybe people don't see. And I think people see that in MLS as well when they come over here. Well, what are you expecting to see out of uh, Oakland on Saturday? I think they're, I think they're a good team. Uh, I think they're a team that uh, values the possession. They tried to, they tried to play. Uh, they have some. They have some good players. I think it will be a good football match. It will be a different match than, than the San Antonio's or Monterey uh, game. It will be. Uh, I think uh, two teams that are looking more at it like a chess match a bit. 
Just how good was it to, to have Zacharias come back onto the team last Saturday? I mean, you saw the kind of impact that he made when you brought him on. For sure. We've been messing Zach, Zaka, um, and we've had to put a lot of minutes on certain players, like Lucho, um, like some of our other forwards. We've had to rotate different guys in different positions because we're, we're missing we're missing Zacharias. And uh, it was it was good to have him back, and hopefully it can revitalize our squad a bit and help uh, protect some guys on the minutes that they've played. So I think it's vital to have him back. So I'm not like a... Football guy, a football guy like you, I don't, I don't know the tactics and all that. Like, uh, but I know I can read stats, and, and it appears that Oakland play a very offensive possession style based football, like like we do. So, how strong will will our defense need to be this upcoming Saturday? Yeah, like I said, I think I think our defense is good. Um, I even think if you watch San Antonio's matchup, we, we were able to to keep that game tight. There was two good moments of uh, brilliance from outside the box, but if you watch San Antonio uh, as, as much as I do, I mean, there's a lot of breakaways. There's a lot of times where they're running behind the back line, and I thought we did a great job defensively. Um, and it's going to have to be maybe a different type of game. A lot of movement, 3-4-3 three, three they play. Um, a lot of technical players, a lot of crafty players, so we're going to have to get our central backs fresh. They're fatigued. Um, they're another pair that's, that's has, that has had to go through a lot these last games, um, so it will be a challenging game. Any word on Carrillo and the status of Yuma? Uh, Carrillo will be available for selection, um, so he's, he's cleared, he's ready to go, so he'll be available for Oakland. Yuma will be available for selection uh, as well.